Here we go again. We've got the last part of this story with the braking lines. Then we're gonna do the front left wheel today. Then take it off and let's have a look what is there. Then uh, got only this flexi pipe to change today. I spray a bit the top nut and the bottom one. Uh, both uh, I use the compressed uh, to blow all the dust and, uh, and the dirt. Hopefully that that will help and it will go easy, not like last time. Otherwise. I have to unscrew close to the caliper and take this uh, holder out as before. But we will see. Maybe this size will go. We will see. Then the situation is exactly the same as uh, the right side. Uh, the top uh, knot is twisting nicely and there is no no issues at all. Let me show you. As you can see, this one moving nice, no problems. Let's me tighten it up. But this one, obviously, is exactly the same like the other side. It's moving with that steel pipe. Then, what are you gonna do? I'm just gonna cut this one off, remove the steel pipe from here, from the from the caliper, and and remove the also the the holder. And we're gonna go to the bench and we're gonna change that quickly without any issues. Also, I have to check if this nut's gonna go nice and easy. And let's let's have a look. Okay, this one is moving nicely. Probably even by fingers. Yeah, twisting nicely. Then let me take that holder off first. Cut the cut the flex pipe here, and let's take that to the bench. The new pipe is already fitted to the caliper holder and the steel pipe. Now we're gonna place back uh, the ABS uh, cable and the brake pad sensor. But before this, I'm gonna fit that over here on the top of the steel pipe, and that's gonna be almost finished from that side it wasn't difficult this time as you know trick with that uh, steel pipe to not break it uh, it's quite easy and this at least one one and a half hour job shouldn't be longer but obviously every car has different manuals then possibly you will have some some issues here or there you never know it's very very difficult to justify how how long it's gonna take you to change anything on a car to be honest uh, you can plan but life will show you anyway how it is last uh, brake line left to the fit that's uh, going to left rear side but belongs to the right side it's a bit complicated but that's how it is then we're waiting for the steel 
uh, brake line should should come tonight and tomorrow I hope I, I can finish the car and just give back to the owner that's how much fluid at this moment we flush still is a bit in the bottle but we have to use another bottle as well then that's gonna be around one liter maybe 200 milliliter total then that's roughly amount to to flush whole system with a new fluid and that's gonna be that it then hopefully see you tomorrow have a nice weekend for everyone I think back to the place brake line is here all the rest you know how to do it we're gonna bleed up with with my daughter at minute then we're gonna flush whole left side here we got half uh, half level on a reservoir and we're gonna top it up presently and bleed up the system but for now I would like to thank you for, for watching see my other videos uh, and see you soon probably there's gonna be something else to do with the Bentley we will see thank you and goodbye